Good afternoon, everyone. Steve Georgia here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It's June 8th, uh, end of the week. Had an exciting week this week. Uh, grains finishing stronger once again. Corn up 5.5 uh, for July. December up 7. Uh, we had beans uh, down about a penny for July, but maybe 9 lower there on that November, so a little weaker on beans. And then wheat uh, down about 11. Looking at harvest coming up, found a little pressure there. Did still have a pretty decent week uh, following this corn market back higher. Uh, let's talk about the corn. Let's talk about the grains uh, in general. We've got right now the weather still holding the trump card at this point. You've got between corn and beans, you've got weather. That's an issue for corn. More of the macro scenario uh, for beans. So which one's going to weigh out? we got weather or macros. Um, you look at corn. We'll take that, for instance, as I mentioned mentioned weather you still have uh, some uh, they did increase a little bit of rain uh, coming Sunday into Monday and early next week there is still guys talking about that six to ten day forecast bringing in a heat ridge uh, and that had uh, that still kept some support here at some lower levels with that corn you got July sitting near six bucks again now if we recall last Friday we had a very weak close we were sitting near 550. We've gained almost 50 cents this week, now closing near 6 bucks. If it's going to rain next week, we may see some pressure. If it's not, we're going to go right through that and probably higher. Uh, the other thing to focus on right now is going to be what's going to happen uh, with USDA on Tuesday. We have a USDA report Tuesday that's going to show ending stocks again. Now, the estimates right now are showing that we're going to see tighter stocks for corn, and uh, and that is going to keep some support in the market right now as well. The December contract for corn, new crop corn, uh, finishing higher. That's going. To, we're sitting up over that 540 area. 550 is a very key area, so keep an eye on that. Just on a technical standpoint, a close above that 550 is going to look pretty friendly, so keep that in mind. As far as beans, a little bit of a dip today. Uh, we have saw a very strong week this week for beans, Closing, actually, still toward the upper the range, uh, range on a weekly chart. Um, but as I mentioned, the macros, okay? What's going on right now with the dollar? What's happening in some of these other markets putting uh, and finding pressure? The dollar, uh, we saw that pull back the last two days. Right now, up about 40 cents. Um, pretty strong there. We are finding uh, a bounce from some of these lows. That put pressure on crude oil, down more than a dollar. Uh, and we've got some of these other markets backing off as well. So the beans, after having a very good week, ended up seeing a little bit of profit taking uh, as it gets uh, as we move into the weekend. The wheat, as I mentioned, down 11 cents. Uh, that found pressure here today as we get closer to harvest. Uh, still looking at more of a, uh, a, a more of a fundamental sell-off here as we get closer to see what uh, what kind of yields we've got out there. Guys are expecting some uh, still some good wheat out there. So. We're going to continue to watch this weather. That's going to be a very important uh, important factor as we get into next week. Uh, some guys are estimating that uh, USDA's 166 yield for corn uh, is too high. We should see them try to reduce that. But we, uh, And not only that, we've got an acreage report coming up here at the end of the month. So a lot of different things right now, a lot of excitement that's going to keep these markets uh, on edge and keep them chopping around. So uh, stay in tune with us. Certainly call us if you have questions at all. Uh, feel free to give us a call with those. Now, as far as livestock today, cattle up 45 cents, uh, finding uh, some good support. We've had uh, good box beef trade this week. Uh, we did trade cash uh, at 122, a dollar better. A lot of guys were looking steady, maybe even lower this week. Uh, and that gave some good support to the cattle and uh, and looking for a, a stronger weekly close. Hogs up 30 cents in June, up uh, down about 15 in July, but found some spreading. Overall, a very strong week. You got June sitting 93.37, July at 93.20. We've got these summer months back above this 93 area. Um, this is an area that we feel that we could be looking at uh, trying to get some hedges done. We may get a little bit further uh, bounce from here, but look at trying to get something done, get these price levels locked in. Kills this week were equal to last year, uh, whereas the previous weeks we've been running about 5% over. So uh, still going to be looked at as a little friendly uh, as we get into next week. But uh, but watch for some of these areas, this resistance areas up maybe a dollar, a couple dollars higher yet. So a um, lot of information I've thrown at you guys. 
Uh, stay in touch with us. These markets are very volatile right now. We've got a, uh, a lot of movement, a lot of things coming up next week. As I mentioned, we've got the uh, uh, we've got the acreage or we've got the USDA report on Tuesday. Uh, we've got good, excellent ratings coming out Monday, and uh, that's going to keep everybody on edge on the early part of next week. So uh, reach us here at 800-262-7538. Or check us out right on the web at allendale-inc.com. I hope you guys had a great week. Talk to you next week. Take